Good evening. It's an honor to be here to share this exciting evening with our friend, our neighbor, and our champion, King County Council Member Rod Dimbowski. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Council Member Dimbowski is simply our hero. He's a leader on so many important issues that affect all of our lives. The environment, transit and transportation, human services, equity and social justice, fairness and workers' rights. He's championed investments and led votes to support families, children, women, and veterans. He's been honored for that work with the prestigious Aspen Rodell Fellowship the Outstanding Community Support Award, Award from the Center for Human Services for his work to fund and support human services throughout King County. He's had the Leadership Award from the Korean American Coalition of Washington for his work to ensure election materials would be provided in additional languages. The Seattle Met Magazine selected Council Member Dembowski as one of the 15 people who should really run Seattle for his leadership and work <laughs> across party lines <laughs> because he worked to prevent the proposed reductions of more than 10 million rides on the county's metro transit system. That means a lot to us. That bus is the most important way that our families can get to medical appointments, employment, school, and jobs. But more than all of that, Council Dembowski is our hero for loving and caring about families that are experiencing homelessness. Last year, we were so grateful because together with the city of Kenmore, it was Council Member Dembowski who made it possible for Mary's Place to open a 24-7 family shelter in the vacant sheriff station in the city of Kenmore. Today, that building now houses 70 moms, dads, children, toddlers, babies, teenagers trying to graduate from high school in June. These families are safe and inside as they work to resolve their housing crisis and move to permanent housing. It's Council Member Dembowski that made that possible. And when he comes to visit, he likes to jump rope, as he does so frequently, but we love to show him the good that he's done and the lives that he's touched. We can't be more grateful or more proud for the work that you've done, for the lives that you've saved. So please welcome our Public Official of the Year, Council Member Dembowski. So we know at Mary's Place, every superhero needs a cape. We didn't think he'd bring his own, so we brought one for him. But truly, on behalf of the 2,118 families that are on the list, that are unsheltered, sleeping outside, thank you for rushing into the crisis, for rescuing these children from their cars, from the back of U-Hauls, from porta-potties, from outside, and bringing them inside and loving them like your own children. I was uh, actually worried about Councilmember von Reichbauer and props. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take this off if you don't mind. Um, wow, how do you follow that? Um, maybe you don't, but thank you so much, Marty. Um, those of you that know me know that I'm not one to exaggerate my accomplishments, so that's why I asked Marty to do it. <laughs> And uh, I'll tell you, I have some mixed feelings about accepting this award tonight. Is Councilmember Mosqueda still here? Did she have to duck out? Okay, good. 
Uh, <laughs> I understand that the city of Seattle is announcing a new awards tax on all municipal <laughs> award winners, and I'm going to have to try and figure out how to pay that. My partner, um, Mike Vasca, referred to me as Greg Dombowski, but Councilmember von Reichbauer taught me an important lesson when I came on to the council. He says, it doesn't matter with a name like yours what they call you as long as they vote for you on the ballot. So I'll take Greg, Rob, Braun, and Dombrotsky and anything close. Um, joking aside, it's been a privilege to work with Marty so closely. Her organization, as this organization recognized last year, is a miracle worker. Just in the last year, they provided 175,000 bed nights and 300,000 meals in King County. Yeah. She, uh, she is a saint on earth. When she walks through the shelter, she knows the children's names. She knows the mother's stories. Uh, she is their counselor, their champion, their advocate and uh, we could go a long way in solving this crisis if we had a few more Marty uh, Hartmans around. Please give her a warm round of applause. <laughs> I uh, can't recognize individually everyone who might like to tonight. I'm deeply, deeply grateful that my family is here, and my boys, especially my dad, who turns 90 September 1st, Al Dombowski, if you'd thank him. <laughs> He, uh, he instilled in me an interest in civic work, and that's why I'm, I'm here. Deeply grateful for my friends, my mentors, Justice Bridge, Governor Locke, my first boss, so many of you in this room. Uh, my professional colleagues on the council, Councilor Ron Reichbauer and Cole Wells, uh, and others who could not uh, make it. Uh, I'm sorry, Councilmember Gossett, the conscience of the King County Council, and my hero. Can please, please give them a round of applause. They all taught me it's not one council member. It takes five votes and an executive signature to get anything done, and, and so it does take a partnership. I want to thank and recognize my partners at the Foster Pepper firm where I had the privilege of practicing law for 12 years. That firm is dedicated to civic involvement, and uh, you can blame all my screw-ups on them, and anything I do okay, credit them as well. Thank you for being here. On the back of your name tag is a Foster Pepper free one hour of legal advice. Uh, <laughs> just bring it into Beth Clark uh, for all your real estate needs. I want to thank my staff. Uh, Senator Carlisle was a Magnuson Bumblebee, if I got that right. Well, and uh, of course, for those of you that, that don't know, that referred to his busy staff that got things done. I don't have bumblebees, I have wasps. And uh, they're tough, and they're quick, and they sting, but in a good way. My chief of staff, Christina Logsdon, if you'd stand. <laughs> Elizabeth Evans, who does our policy and communications work. Where's Elizabeth? Right back there. Liz Elward, our senior policy work person, gets stuff done, and Garrett Holbrook. Uh, they're all here tonight, and I'm, I'm deeply grateful for their support. Uh, this recognition is really one shared with each of you uh, and is a reflection of your investment in and support of me over uh, the decades. The recipients of this year's Muni League Awards are inspiring in their work and accomplishments. You might ask, how is it that King County is an essential partner in the work of each of these folks recognized tonight? Communities of Opportunity, Dr. Ben Danielson, who I served with on the Board of Health, Janice Avery and Treehouse, who we wrote the Youth Action Plan with. Let me suggest to you that it is in large part due to the leadership of the Municipal League 50 years ago in 1968. For it was then that this organization secured a new King County charter. That's right, the constitution of our government is 50 years old this year, and the Muni League gave birth to it with its leadership in 1968. In 1968, we also had the famed forward thrust movement and the passage of seven measures that invested resources into this community. I was born just a few years later in Auburn, Washington. Bob Regner, former mayor, you're here tonight and longtime Muni League board member. Thank you, Bob. Um, and I grew up benefiting directly and indirectly from the visionary leadership shown by those forward-looking decisions. Decisions that built a new government for a new time and made investments for a community and people like me who were growing up in it. And what I appreciate about the story of King County in 1968 is the optimism that prevailed. 
the optimism that prevailed as our country was coming apart, the Tet Offensive, Johnson not seeking re-election, the assassination of Martin Luther King, the assassination of Robert Kennedy, and so on. In the face of that turmoil, King County went a different direction. They went the optimistic direction. They moved ahead with forward thrust. They made the investments. They built the trails and the parks that I played in as a kid. They built the pools I swam in. They built the infrastructure and cleaned the water so I could swim and fish and paddle. They built the health clinics where I received care as a kid. They built the roads, the safety system, and the economy that gave the opportunity that we've all enjoyed for the last five decades. 2018 has a lot in common with 1968. Our nation and community are racked with division, seemingly overwhelming challenges involving basic human needs, housing, inequality of opportunity chief among them. I submit to you that despite some remodeling in the last half century, King County government is increasingly limited in its ability to address these needs at a time when our county's rapidly growing size and complexity, <coughs> excuse me, demand a more effective government. So the next 50 years, what will they bring? They'll bring another million people to King County, a more diverse people, a more complex community with tougher challenges around housing and transportation and economic opportunity. There'll be threats, threats to our natural environment. And that stress is already showing today with nearly 12,000 unhoused people here in the county. 169 died on our streets last year alone. How do we harness the optimism that built the 747 in 1968 and the strong community that I got to grow up in? How do we secure the future that leaders of 1968 made possible for us today? Can we do it again? Or will we fall victim to frustration, anger, factionalism, name calling, the stuff we see too often nationally, but even locally, as we try to address regional problems with one locality or one interlocal agreement or one task force at a time. So I'm gonna to conclude tonight with a call to action to this room of civic leaders. This year we'll convene a charter review commission on its decennial schedule. Uh, your own executive director, I was proud to recommend Alejandra to be a member of that and there are other folks who'll be on the commission. But I ask that the Municipal League formally help lead this work consistent with its century-long tradition of making sure local government works. Let's not look just within our charter, but beyond it, and consider the changes we will need to build the next government for the next five decades so it is effective and can tackle these challenges. I think we need a new regional covenant to solve these bigger, more complex regional problems. Help us build that new regional system with fresh, effective tools and shared accountable leadership. Help us make sure that a child growing up here today can have the opportunities that this community gave me, that she too may travel a path like mine, from a kid raised in South King County who receives health care at a King County public health clinic, who plays in our parks and swims and fishes in our clean waters, who commutes to school and later a good job on our transit system, and who can afford to buy a home. Together, let's build the community of the next half century that ensures she can grow up to serve on the King County Council, to chair the Board of Health, and return through service a modicum of appreciation for the commitment that this community will make in her like it is made in me. Thank you. Congratulations, Councilmember Greg Dombrowski. <laughs>